sometimes we cannot imagine what is going to happen here. Forget about billion dollar market cap. You know, we, we're going to go into the trillions and not just six trillion, seven trillion. In two, three, four years from now, you're going to hear about a hundred trillion dollar market cap, 200 trillion, 800 trillion. It's numbers that you cannot fathom. This is why I'm warning you as well that you are going to have hyperinflation that the world has never seen before. And the term hyperinflation is going to disappear. There's going to be a new name for it, and it's going to start with a T, T inflation. Maybe we should have a competition, Nico, and let people tell us, what do you think will that name be? Yeah. What starts with a T? We already know what it's going to be, guys. T inflation. What does the T stand for? But we'll come and mention that to you. So people in 20 years from now, people will be taught the T inflation. It's not going to be hyperinflation anymore. And what will happen is that people that hold property and assets, okay? Now, here's the good news for you. If you don't own property, make sure you own cryptos. Because there's two things in the world that's going to rise in price. There's a little bit more, you know, like gold and silver. Obviously, that always will rise slow, but it's manipulated. Wall Street money. And they can make a law and confiscate your gold at any time. Silver as well. And they can potentially keep the price of silver low. But they cannot stop what's coming in cryptocurrencies. And I believe that gold and silver is going to have a spike. But it's not worth it to sell your cryptos and get into gold and silver. Because ultimately, cryptocurrencies outperform gold and silver by far. In the future, you have to understand is that it's extremely risky to go and walk around in communities with stacks of silver and buy food and this and that. You know, it, it's, it doesn't make sense, you know. What will happen is people will be able to pay with cryptocurrencies. And let me just quickly address something here, guys. A lot of people talk about this, uh, this event that's going to happen here on 8. 9 April, which is called the eclipse. And, you know, we've been analyzing that now for three months. So it's old news for us. Nothing is going to happen during the eclipse. Nothing, absolutely nothing. In my data, what I see is that, and I have to be very careful what I say here, but that there is an entity in America that has already sent up satellites they are lying in orbit. What they plan to do is to bring the internet down on the day of the eclipse. Because remember, that eclipse goes all across America. And for those people who understand what I talk about, you'll probably find this fascinating. That eclipse goes across America. And then right at a certain point, what they want to do, and I don't want to give this information away because I, I can personally get into trouble about, hey, how did you know this? They'll activate these satellites, it's not really satellites, but then destroy the internet worldwide. And then what is supposed to happen is that the internet goes dark for weeks. And you have cryptocurrencies that start dropping, dropping, dropping. When the internet eventually goes on, your cryptos are lower than what they were during COVID. But I'm telling you now that that is not going to happen. What I see in the data is that through supernatural intervention, those satellites that are now in orbit are going to fail because of a software glitch.